can you stack any Divi module side by side? Yes, you can, and I'll show you how to do it. My name is Michelle, and I release weekly videos on marketing, web design, and content creation strategies. Now, this video was actually inspired by one of my viewers who found the side-by-side -side Divi button tutorial very helpful and wanted to know if you could do it with any module. You can, as long as you target the right CSS class. I'll show you how to find what you need, as well as give you an example of how stacking text modules side by side might make sense. Now, I always encourage you to use your Divi rows and columns as much as you can, but there's always that one scenario where this tip can become really helpful. I'll also leave a link to the companion blog in the description of this video, so if you need to grab any of the CSS I mentioned, you can do so there. So let's get to it. All right, first things first, I'm gonna show you what we're making today. So I'm gonna show you how to stack any type of module side by side. And the example that I'm gonna use this time is with text modules. So the scenario I'm gonna give you today is these three little symbols down here. So these are actually text modules that I've stacked side by side and I've inserted the Elegant Themes font icon in there. And the reason I did this is because a lot of times I find that people want to add their social media links, but they also want an icon for email. And as you know, the social media follow module does not have an option for email, which is kind of annoying. I wanted to create a solution that we could use that incorporates both social media and an email icon if needed. So how do you do this? I'm gonna enable my visual builder and then I'll show you how I did this. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually get rid of this row because I'm gonna take you step by step through it. So you probably recognize this design from our button tutorial where we stack two buttons side by side in one row. We're gonna do the same with text modules. So the first thing that I would wanna do is start a brand new row. It's important to have a new row for all of the elements that you want to stack side by side. So in this scenario, we only want one column, so we'll choose that. I am going to select a text module and then we've got our dummy copy. So the thing that I want to do is actually put in a symbol. So if you haven't done this before, you can actually access the elegant icon fonts. They've got this uh, link here to one of their blogs. It's kind of outdated, so I'm not sure if it's got all of the latest and greatest in there, but I will leave a link to this in the description as well. And you've got all of the codes available for every icon which is great. So the ones that I'm gonna use today are probably gonna be Facebook, we'll use Instagram, and I know that this Instagram icon has been updated, and then an envelope for email. So I've got these codes, so I'm going to use this page as a reference and just grab the code for each symbol that I wanna use. So let's go back here. I'm going to get rid of this copy. We'll go to the text tab. So I went ahead and took notes on all the ones that I wanted to use. So this first one is for Facebook. So I have it in a span with a class ETPB icon. So that is important to keep that. And then I've added some styling to it. You do not have to use these measurements if you want to. You can make all the adjustments that you want. And then inside the span tag, I put my symbol. So for this is the one that we have for Facebook and you can see that it's showing up over here. The reason I put the font size in was I could not for the life of me get this to work um, by adjusting the text size. So that's pretty much useless. You have to put it in this inline style if you want to make it a specific height. Otherwise it comes in pretty large. I'll show you what that looks like. If I don't have that font size in there, it comes in really large. So had to put something in there, we'll hit undo to get it to be the size that I wanted. So the other thing I might do, I have the ability, if I do go to the text tab, I can change the color. So I'm gonna change that to white. And so far so good. I'm ready for my next text module. So I will go ahead and we will add, move that down here, we'll add a new module. So again, choose text, delete that. I've got my second icon, which is the Instagram icon. So I've got that code there. I'd like to change that to white as well. So I'll do that. I'll hit save and then we'll add one more just for fun. Paste my code in and then also change this to white. Okay. So now I have all of my text modules in my one row. How do I get them to stack side by side? 
I mentioned that you have to find the correct CSS class to target in order to make them display inline. So I am going to exit my visual builder and save my work. And I'm going to show you how I find my classes to target. So when I hover over something, I have the ability to right click. I'm using Chrome right now. And I know that this works in Firefox as well. I don't believe it works in Safari if you're a Safari user. And I don't have Microsoft Edge, so I can't tell you if it works there too, but it might. If you right click and hit inspect, this window is going to pop up. And then as I hover over each portion of the code, we can start to see what it's correlating to on the page. So I know that I want to target, it's an ETPV class, but it's for the text modules. Now the button one, I believe it was like button wrapper and we can double check that here in a second. So here's my first class and then here's my row. If I look at what's going on here, I can see that this is probably the class that I wanna target the ET underscore PB underscore text. I don't want to do the ones with the individual numbers because if I target them trying to make them inline, then you would need a bunch of different classes to do that. But this one is the class that it has in common. So we're going to test this out. We'll come back to our page and enable our visual builder. All right, now that we have our visual builder open, let's click this purple dot down here and then we're gonna navigate to our page settings. We'll go to the advanced tab and then go into custom CSS. Now, since we're on our button stacking tutorial design, we can see that the former CSS that we used to stack these buttons it targeted the ETPB button module wrapper. So I know that if I copy and paste the same one, let's call this one text stack. So I'll just make that change there. So we'll wanna apply this class to the row. And then instead of the ETPB button module wrapper, we know that the class that we found was just called text. So we're also gonna just display it in line block. And then we've got some margin options. If we want to make adjustments, we can do that later. So let's just see if this works. I'll hit save. And then we need to go to our row, click advanced under CSS ID and classes. We'll choose a class and we'll put text stack and it works like magic. Okay. So the other thing that I wanted to do was probably center them. And in order to do that, I would just go to custom CSS tab and then we'll put text align center. And just by adding that line of CSS, we've now got our centered icons. So you have the ability. The one thing I will say is that when you're doing this and you're stacking things side by side, accessing the different module options, it can get a little tricky because everything's kind of just stacking on top of one another. So I do encourage to always just use your layers palette if you can. So in this intro section, I know that this bottom row here is has our three different text icons. We could always, you know, label them to make it easier. I could save Facebook, we could save it. And that way when in the future, when we come back to this, we can always access our setting options right here in our layers palette. So that makes things a lot easier when you're designing. That's really all there is to it. Be sure to give this video a like if you found it helpful. And then be sure to also check out the blog. I will leave a few different classes that I found for the different modules if you want to stack those as well. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments. And of course, if you have a tutorial that you'd like to see, just let me know and I will make a video on it. I hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a like if you found this information helpful and subscribe if you'd like. I'd really appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.